Today, I'm at the Shed Barbecue in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, with the founders and top hogs of this um, unique establishment. Brad and Brooke, brother and sister, live and breathe barbecue. Rumor has it they knew I was coming and smoked a whole hog. How much does that thing weigh? That's 141 pounds of love. Damn, and, uh, that's good. For Academy Sports and Outdoors, I'm Marty Smith, and this is Traditions. Day three of the Traditions World Exclusive Extravaganza brings us here to Ocean Springs, Mississippi and the Shed Barbecue and Blues joint. And look who's here to meet me. Hey, hey, Brooke Marty. and Brad. Yes. Hello, my friend. That's right. How we doing? I'm good. Welcome Founders home. and owners of this fine establishment with great history. And guys, as I've made my way through, I am blown away by all the stuff <laughs> y'all have inside this place. And if you don't mind, I would love if you kind of took me through a, on a tour kind of through, through here and tell me a few stories because the authenticity is amazing. Well, I'd, well, I'd like to show you all the stuff in the shed, but this is just the stuff that Brooke will allow me to keep here. <laughs> I had to buy true. another piece of property and put all the rest of the stuff. He is a dumpster diver extraordinaire. And really, that's part of the concept of the shed is one man's trash is another man's treasure. But sometimes I have to kick brother and be like, but that that's really just trash. We need to probably <laughs> get rid of that. But everything here has got a story, and we love to tell it. One thing that I noticed on the way in was how much you guys promote kindness. We do. It really spoke to me. As soon as we came in the gates here, you guys have it at the front, you have it at the entrance right behind yeah. Brooke here. Yeah. Why is that something that you guys are so passionate about? Uh, hey, it's a, you know, a smile is uh, real easy to put on your face, except for when it's really hard. So uh, I just say, hey, smiles are contagious. We know they're going to smile after they eat some of that whole hog or one of them pork sandwiches, yeah. but the smile on the way in, that's the way it is. I can't wait to see it. Well, I come appreciate on. you guys having me. Let's check it out. Let's, Let's do show it. it. This place is a museum for eclectic modern history. There's no way you can see everything at the shed in three days. Every trunk and trinket has its own story. All right, welcome in. This is where you're going to get fed by the shed. <laughs> check it mm -hmm. out. I mean, y'all, this is sensory overload. I yes. don't really know what to look at first. Yeah. Uh, I want to start with your sauces. Oh, oh yeah. Man. What are our flavors? Oh my God. Well, this is my favorite, sweet and tangy. So this That's is kind of- That's the one I grabbed too. Is it, this is kind of our homage to our family in, in the Carolina. Oh, you're from Carolinas. Yeah. We love yeah, our yeah. Carolina So Q, this is I your vinegar you. base sauce. Yep. So we've got a Mississippi Gold, which is our mustard base. Yeah. Our sweet and spicy and our original, which is the Southern Sweet. Anytime you eat a, anything with shed sauce or marinades or rubs, we've hand stirred it as a family. So we, we've kept it really tight with the family. We own the saucery. Brad works at the saucery uh, most of the time and runs down here when we need them and vice versa. Mainly when so, we're out of beer. Hey! Because <laughs> the shed is known for beer, yeah. barbecue, and blues. So this yeah. is the front entrance. Got all these dollar bills rocking up here. I'm People. gonna ask you about that. Yes. Uh, they're, they're everywhere. I mean, their yeah. their their entrance to exit, the, all over the ceiling. What what's the story behind that? What tradition is that? We had a group come in and they said, "Man, we want to document that we've been here." So they all signed the dollar bill. They put it up on the ceiling. I thought, okay, you know, that's all right. Well, then they came back about four months later. They took that same dollar bill. They took it down and they wrote their names again and dated it. Oh, that's cool. So what we found, as you walk around, you'll find different. I mean different signatures and its families and they've documented some of them are 10 years and they've come in and said oh you know it's right on the post right behind this you know y'all yeah. been doing this 20 years yeah 20 years 20 years you were children when this started yeah. brooke was 19. i was two yeah brooke was two <laughs> yeah why did you guys do this well i mainly wanted somewhere that i could work and drink at the same time <laughs> So <laughs> voila, yeah, the no. shed has, yeah, uh, we no. got, you know, over a hundred different types of beer. Yeah. Uh, we cook uh, slow smoke all our meat with pecan wood. Oh, uh, man, one of our pit masters, Hobson Cherry, um, who did our whole hog, uh, he's cooked like 7 million pounds of uh, barbecue over the last 20 years. Yeah. 7 million pounds. Seven, he's cooked a million racks of baby backs alone. I, I, I've never done a whole hog. 
ever. What am I going to experience here? Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna take twenty bites for, for 20, twenty years. years. So we're going to literally it. take a bite of a little bit of the, the entire whole hog. It's a sight to be seen. And we're just super stoked that you're here and you brought your whole family here. I love your spirit. You oh, guys have a beautiful you. spirit. So I can't wait. Let's go check out Let's the hog. All right. Come check this out. Yeah, check this out. The, uh, the trophy case. All the goods. I mean, I see a whole lot of trophies over there that say World Championship on them. That's yep. Right. The uh, you can't hide money, y'all. You can't hide. You can't hide money. But if it was all about the money, we wouldn't be going out to these competitions. I love that. It's about the feeling. That's this passion, is the, man. That's right. This is the first uh, time that we went to Memphis in May, and uh, we got third place, so we finaled in whole hog. It was one of the crowning moments. Yeah. And uh, and then later on, we had a fire here that burnt the whole place down. And this was the only trophy that made it out Seriously? of our trophy yeah. case. So wow. all these trophies are from 2012 uh, up to the present. We took five trophies this year at Memphis May. Cool. You talk about competition, it makes me think about game day. Yeah. We're all about tradition in the South oh, yeah. as it pertains to college football. What's game day like here? Well, um, we're right off of I-10. So if you're heading to go, you know, go Tigers, you're stopping by and getting fed at the shed on the way, you know, if you're from the East or vice versa. And so we were able to capture so many people. All, we're only a thousand yards north of the interstate, east wow. and west. We're Call able to cap- 57, yeah. barbecue hat. That's right. So we're able to <laughs> capture people that are going to a game or coming home from a game. So the spirit inside the shed from those, I mean, sometimes coming home from the game and your team lost, the spirit may not be as good. But that pork but sandwich is going to hit that, just right. That's, right. that's what the saloon's for. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, that's yeah, what the whiskey's the for. There are countless unique tales in these walls, but to truly grasp the experience, you have to walk the property. On this visit, it didn't take me long to realize we were writing our own story. Check hey. this out. What is it? Oh, you're about to get fed by the shed, Marty. It's the what? whole hog, man. It's the reason for all those what? trophies in that trophy case, man. Look at that thing. <laughs> How much does that thing weigh? That's 141 pounds of love. Heard it was your birthday. Yes, y'all. Have Today's you ever day. seen a whole hog like this? No, this is the first time I've ever experienced it. And I'm, I, honestly, I'm, I'm a little awestruck. And I can't wait to try it. Fire it up. I'm gonna start with one of my favorites, which is the pork shoulder. Little windows of heaven here. Yes. You can see how tender this is. Absolutely. It's just jiggly. Oh my goodness. All right, so the first bite. Oh my God. Man, every day when we cook here at the shed uh, and you get a pulled pork sandwich, it's coming from the shoulder meat. That is by far what put us on the map. It just wants to pull apart. That's why they call it pulled pork. Tomato based sauce, junk free, all natural. Yo. Yeah. Portions of the shank. All right. Boom. Watch this bone here. Holy cow. Pop out of there. And what you just got was one of the pieces that curls around this front knuckle here. Richer taste to it. Yeah. How many bites have we had? We're on four. We're on four. This is called the brisket. You can see this got a little bit of that bark on it. I'm All a big right. bark guy. Oh yeah, I, I get some bark. of that. I need next bite. We're gonna, uh, Mr. Carolina. We're gonna go with vinegar based Come on, sauce. We're gonna girl. get that sweet. Oh, you going? Thing. All right. Yeah. So look, this starts to get back into where the bacon is gonna start on the top of this hog. Look, it's just pulling out. Gosh. <laughs> Oh. I mean, it just falls apart, Brad. It, it is. It's, um, it's It just disintegrates, man. Whole hog has a different flavor everywhere you go. When you yes. cook a whole hog low and slow over pecan wood, it really does. you Every really can bite. start to taste the difference. Now we're going to get into the tenderloin. Look at that thing. There's your loin. Oh. Wow. That's, that's what it's all about right there. You can see how just jiggly it is. A little top portion here. No, oh, that is so good. Talking about bacon? Look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. What? I've never seen bacon like, straight off the body. That is cool. Bam. Yeah. 
This is oh, you hear all the shed heads? That's up bacon. Here. That's, That's bacon. bacon. Holy crap is right. That's bacon. bacon. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Everybody loves juicing. bacon. That's what it's all it's bacon about. Bacon in a form that not many people really get to witness. You know? No, absolutely not. And it's it's just as oh, that is. So is this just a pop and run, whole it's thing? Pop and run, baby. Okay. Pop well, it's and run. It's gonna be a big chew, but go for it. <laughs> tastes like bacon. It, it tastes like bacon. Yeah. It yeah. does, doesn't it? It's wild. This just came off that bottom chunk right there, and what I love about that the is bark. the actual bark. Yeah. So yeah. you say you're a you're a barky guy. I love bark. Try that right there. All of my friends These are so little jealous right now. Top player here. I mean, you can just see the juice in there. You can taste the difference here. So this is right Damn, up. That's good. This is right up next to the bone. So this is gonna have a little darker taste to it. It's really just about cooking the whole hog at the same time. Um, look at that. Right on out, Hoss. Just oh, pulling that, that out. Look at, look at that. Look at that. that. Oh my goodness. I don't you know what bite it. we're on, but this is the best bite. All right, I give me the best bite. It. You can taste the smoke. You can taste it. Oh yeah. Mm. You can taste that seasoning, which is, I call it light. You know, brown sugar, cumin, paprika, black pepper, garlic, salt, so oh, onion. God. There really is a whole rack of ribs right here. Unbelievable. Look at that. Now that's a whole rack, so this would be your baby back, and this would be your spare. Little double rack. <laughs> Ridiculous, dude. I know I've said it before, but this is another one of my favorite parts. It's so much fun. <laughs> The hog head has all of the secret flavors, all of the goodness right here. That is the whole jowl. See all this right here? This yeah, man, I see it. Yeah, right for here. sure. Good, that's delicious. Uh, my little brother cooked a hog for Anthony Bourdain. No way. Yeah, and he said, uh, you know, Anthony wow. said, hey man, where, uh, what piece of the hog do you want? And Bourdain said, well, I want the eye socket. I've never had eye socket. I don't, well, at least I don't think so. Well, we we about to get in. So when you taste this, it is an undeniable taste. Bite twenty is the eye socket that the legend Anthony Bourdain said is the holy grail. Cheers, cheers, bro. my friend. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness! My maiden voyage with eye socket. Now you know why. That's what he wanted. Good. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for having us here and sharing your story and sharing your amazing talent. I know it's been a lot of hard work over the past two decades and it speaks so well to your passion and your spirit that y'all been so successful and impacted so many lives. And we're grateful you had us out today. Oh, thank Thanks you. Thanks for getting fed at the shed. I mean, I'm telling you, I am fed, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, eye socket, bacon, brisket, loin, rib. Y'all, I ate every corner of that pig. I most certainly got fed at the shed. Too much, maybe. Throughout the entire experience, I was constantly reminded of Brooke's opening comment to me upon arrival. Food is the universal language. Brooke and Brad are fluent in that language for two decades and counting.